Hello guys, so today in this video I am going to talk about the beep sound issue in the MacBook. So earlier video I had shown that the beep sound issue was fixed by removing the SSD and then bringing it back. So as I explained the problem was related to the memory but actually the SSD was not more of the problem. The more of the problem was the RAM but since the RAM is fixed on the logic board so removing that and putting it back is not possible. So Finally, after debugging so many ways, I came to the final solution of this problem and I am going to share you the solution. So while debugging, I found that there were multiple kernel panics when this problem was seen. So then I started looking into the logs and then I came to know that these problems were coming because the drivers were not getting loaded into the kernel properly. Now, because of that, the several drivers were failing and leading to kernel panics. Now there are multiple applications which are running and which is leading to the loading of those applications and those applications have been updated and they are not compatible with the OS or software which is present in this MacBook. Now if I would have gone to replace the RAM for this problem Again, this problem might have come and I could have easily spent 50,000 rupees for this problem. So I went ahead and I looked at the issues in the update section and I saw that there are several updates which were pending and which has to be downloaded and then it has to be updated. So I'm going to show you exactly what all updates was done and these updates were very crucial and currently I have a Mozave OS and it is not recommended to upgrade to the Big Sur OS because Big Sur OS have a different hardware requirement if you you are having MacBook Pro old version 2015-17 those years then don't go for upgrade now to look at what all up last updates were done on this MacBook so you have to open system report so once you open the system report you can see the last updates now go to the software and then installations so you will see that I have not done many updates for a long time and when I started seeing this initially that what updates were required there were one critical update which was device software update so that was required to make this compatible with the current applications which are there on the device so I updated all this and everything is started working properly so this was a fix and due to this I saved the RAM upgrade normally if you go to Apple Center they will say that you have to either do the RAM upgrade or you have to do RAM changes or you have to remove the RAM or remove the logic board itself you can't remove the RAM so you have to remove the logic board itself so thanks guys for watching and let me know if you have any questions